Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm just going to walk us through the new way of getting your tax clearance certificate on the new SARS e-filing and obviously it's a new look at an, a new SARS apparently so this is just an update of my previous how to get your tax clearance certificate video. So let's get to it. Obviously we first need to log in into SARS e-filing and then what you want to make sure of is on the right hand top right hand side of a corner called tax status you want to click on that and then on the left hand side tax compliance status you want to go into that and go to activation obviously if this is your first time doing this this will not be activated so you will need to tick um, tax compliance status in order to activate it click the disclaimer and just click continue until it is successfully activated um, it is quite easy to do okay so the next step is to click on my compliance profile and I'm just going to walk you through the through the steps here it's very really easy to be compliant registration usually you need to only have one tax number okay so if it's two tax numbers this one will show not compliant so just make sure that they, that, that is compliant and it's not an issue then submission of returns this is just to check if all your returns are up to date and if you go back date do you have any date outstanding uh, to SARS if you do have this will show non-compliant it will also show in red it will show that you're non-compliant and then if you have any supporting documents that you need to submit this will also show non-compliant if all of these boxes are green you will be able to apply for your tax clearance or tax compliance status pin which is the new wording um, if that is the case if it's green then you can go to tax compliance status request you need to go to good standing and you need to click request sometimes the browser will ask you to install flash player so you can just click install flash player uh, get adobe flash player and say allow and we can just close this and then we do this again good standing request so once the form is loaded what i like to do is right here on the left top of the screen you can see these three settings you can just click that and it will open the form a bit bigger for you and also i like to zoom in here click the plus sign you don't need to fill in all the contact details here i'm just going to put down my cell phone number and then is this request completed by an authorized representative in this case not so a practitioner might take yes here in this case this is for me and then is this request in respect of a partnership no this is not for a partnership and there's no other required details that that i must fill in so you can just click submit form and then you click continue if it shows approved you have to select the one that you want to print or the, the, the one that you want to uh, show on your system um, or to send to people who are requesting for your tax clearance. It will take about 10-15 minutes to show but in this case I'm just going to select it and then click print pin and then mine downloads automatically and so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So this is the tax compliance status pin your taxpayer details will be here on the left hand side tax number and issue date on the right hand side here is all the tcs details and you can use this to send to third parties who might ask for the pin and then third parties will will be able to see what is your tax compliance so that they can do business with you if you have any questions let me know if you've liked this video, please consider to subscribe. The next big one I am planning is to do a whole uh, e-filing tutorial about how to use e-filing. It's going to be a very general overview and it will be quite in-depth. So yeah, please stick around. Cheers.